Hey guys, just got this nice red squirrel with my Remington Vantage 22 caliber air rifle. I'll link everything, the scope and the gun in the description. And this is a shooting cook. So I'm gonna go ahead and clean this up. I'm not gonna do it on camera. And I'm gonna go ahead and cook it up. Maybe fried. That's a really good idea. So, sweet. And just to tell you this, I'm wearing full camo. Uh, this is all real tree. This is actually my turkey stuff um, for turkey honey. And I got these new boots. I'll put them in the description. These are awesome. Um, I'm blanking on what the... Actually, the name is somewhere around here. Uh... Totally blank on the name. I'll put in the description. The boots are amazing. I have uh, rain boots, and then these are actually snow boots. Um, and I think they work better for hunting. So, so. Hey guys, um, today I'm doing a shoot and cook. So, all you need for the cooking part, you probably just saw me get the red squirrel. It's in the salt barn right in here. I have the back legs and the tenderloins and the back straps uh, because I kind of shot through the front shoulders and it wrecked that. Um, now, all you need, come on all, this is used, come on all. Then, right here, I have Moltman Red Kit cr Critter Glitter. Uh, sorry for my speech, I have kind of dyslexia. Um, flour. I'm going to put this in here. Then this is some fish fry mix in here. Louisiana. This stuff's amazing. Um, this is the blue package. Forgetting which one it is. But I'll link it in the description. Uh, I'll link this too. The Molt Man stuff. All, all, like his YouTube channel. He's amazing. If you want catching cooks to the max, watch his stuff. Um, or get a seasoning too. It's amazing. And then that's a little bit of milk. So I have some paper towels over here. Just dry the meat off. What you do is you take the meat, dry it off, put in the flour, shake it up, then put in the milk. Then you put it into your mix. So this is corn bread type of mix. And then you fry it up. So I'm going to get to heating up the oil. So sweet. All right. I put the squirrel onto the paper towel. I got a little water in the room. What do I do? I'm gonna fold this paper towel a little more up. And let's pat it. It doesn't have to be perfect. But I can't get it like that. Oh, uh, maybe I can. Ah, I'm gonna mess it up. So I'm going to get that dealt with, and then what you do is you take that, bring it over to the flour, you put it in the flour so it dries it off even more, dip it in the milk so it wets it, flour makes it so then it sticks better with the milk, milk goes into, then after the milk you take the meat, put it into this, shake it up real good, and then you throw it into the hot oil, and the, why it was in a weird container is because I reused oil. So it actually had uh, latkes or potato pancakes in um, what's this oil. So it kind of smells like potato pancakes in here. So it's pretty good. So sweet. All right. The next step is I'm going to take this a little bit of spice and stuff. Uh, pull more. There we go. That's good. Uh, now pretty much. I'll stir that better and then I'll put the meat in it. The oil is ready, so I'm gonna get everything prepped up and start frying it. Sweet. Alright, I'm gonna get the squirrel now. Stuff. 
those are back straps, those small ones. That is a tenderloin, that is a back strap, and then that is the back legs. It's insanely small stuff. So, uh, I'm going to wash my hands off and then deal with this. So, sweet. Now I capped it. All I do is shake it. So, now into the milk. cornmeal stuff over. Um, I'll find in a second the rest of it. I'll go ahead and find the rest of that in a bit. The oil is pretty hot, so I, I will fry that up. It's just this is quicker. So take that. Milk sticks to it good. Get the lid. And press it good on. Good. So, I'm going to go wash my hand off so I can easily do the rest of this. Sweet. Now, the next step is get a bamboo skewer. Take the back of it, it's a little easier. See how it's bubbling, you can hear that. If I was on the bottom, you can see how much more it goes. But... Just on the top of the oil. This is shallow frying. So, oil's ready. Now I grab one of the two legs. There we go. Got that nice coating on it. Alright. Gonna let those cook. And when they're done, the taste test. Sweet. Alright guys, I have the squirrel right here. Cooked up nice in the oil. Um, just smells like mullet man red and like cornbread mix. Corn meal, not cornbread, corn meal mix. So, taste test, see if it's good or not. Uh, these things are in pine and spruce, so there is probably going to be that certain flavor in My brother hates to eat this, like red squirrel. Um, I've had this multiple times, and still, like, the only way I think to get this down really good is not frying, but actually cooking over a fire so you get that smoky flavor into it. It actually takes the majority, or soaking it. And the brine works really good too, like a strong salt and vinegar brine. You can pull all that bad flavor that I think and my brother thinks out of it. So, taste test. Mmm. It's a lot of breading, but... There's still that smell to it. Like, the brain's very good. Like, it's not that bad. For off of my land, getting this, that's pretty neat. Just go out in the woods off my land and get fresh meat like this. It's pretty cool, but I'd rather go with the gray squirrel. It's so much better. So, if I recommend it, if you smoked it, it would be way better. This, it's okay. Um, or with because I put um, the Molt Man Red Critical Litter on here. I'm going to do a rating. 
of 1 to 10 um, for mean with just red scroll, not other means. I'm going to put this at probably uh, a 7. Um, I think the smoked or put over a fire is probably going to be like an 8.5. It's way better than this. Um, this is still good because like the breading and stuff, I love cornmeal. So, it's pretty good. So, and with Mike's seasoning, makes it even better. So, sweet.